Hey guys, it's your favorite Bumblebee, and we are back again with Night in the Woods! Last time we did this, we talked to Angus, he told us this traumatic backstory that we didn't know until now. And basically, the one of the little spooky ghost guys came up and chased us, so that was, that was fun. He also had a dream with a cat thing? That was weird. See, did anyone text me? Let's see what everyone has to say for themselves. Morning at the pickaxe, if you're in town center today. I don't even know why, why I'm saying this. You're in the town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude! At the old snacko! Come see me for boredom supreme! Sincerely, Gregory. And then there's Ingus. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. <laughs> they a direct quote from our conversation yesterday. Be free, baby, free! Bird, I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Okay. Downstairs we go. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you... pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all! Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then you were there. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I am not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that if you can always come to always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about something else? Sure. You know, if he did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get si excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you, too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, Mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby! Cordella! Why don't I... Why don't I just have a baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye, I'm leaving. No more baby talk for this, May Borowski. I don't think there's anything over there. You gotta steal my pretzel for my trash baby, so don't forget that. Hey, Summers! Hey, man. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Nah, uh, of course. Life goes on. It feels so long. 
but I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Silvers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chevelle's up there again. Did he ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no, he's, he's crying his eyes out. He loves that thing. More than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visited, visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university, university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Okay. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. Woo! It's Trevor! Shoot. Shouldn't have done that. For well, where today, May? Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. Come have a look. Don't forget to shield your eyes, child. Knew it. Huh? <laughs> I'm already used to it. Okay. Let's see. Looking around for those squigglies. close. Sit. Up, 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 up. Oh, there it is. I think I got one. Let us see. Mountaineer. Ferdinand. That's a fun name. It is. So what's up with this guy? Ferdinand was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? But this isn't a common instinct? No. To see that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff, and there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Then everyone can just get up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So what happened to Ferdinand? He returned home 
and complained that the sky felt heavy, and he had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one breaks something back when, he, when one returns. One. One. Okay, next one. Which one is this? Adida Astra. <gasps> you know this one? Yes, I know this one! It's a common story. How Adida journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traveled unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adida's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she... In her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where she, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. Yeah, the superior since she was dying. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. Ooh, that's all for today. That was nice. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Okay, I gotta feed my rat babies. I mean, I guess technically I am a mother. I'm just not pregnant. There we go! One guy isn't here today. Weird. Okay. Time to do my daily. Time to do my daily stealing of the day. Let's go. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Give it up. I'm restarting this. Yep. Okay, I restarted the game. No! Burn it. Whatever. At least now I know that if he looks to the other side, then it means that he's still watching. I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't try it before. Whatever. No food for my rat babies. Nothing new. Okay, so today we are doing Inge. No, today we're doing Greg. Yeah, we're doing Greg. Let's go to the church first, I guess. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything.
can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop on a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my, sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the backyard. They'll all be there. Are gonna get off that train? My kids are gonna be there? And they're gonna have a sign they made? Nothing fancy poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, babe. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an, I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you later, Bruce. Goodbye, babe. No, it's just rising. Whoops. Hey, Hud. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but out, out and about helps. Fresh air? Thanks for visiting me, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on, Cindy. It's full, dead. I bet it is. Sorry you have to work because we have money problems. Bay, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See you later. See you, bobbers. See you, daughters. Okay, so I have to tell Pastor Keith that tomorrow. Ooh, there's a meeting. <clears throat> because there will be children here! And this is a s historic church. That's half empty. It is, that's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place, this place will never be full again. We have the space, and we have the people who need space. We have resources, and we have property. We are not far off the place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Karen, it is our number jo one job right now to bring business into town. Business means jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention off the market, of the market. And, cr and having half-dead church stacked full of bums Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Karen. You have a good heart, Karen. Thank you all for coming. Ugh. Stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine.
Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What well, seems to be trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. Well, I mean, it was a dream. But God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert. I was like, it was the shore. In this giant black ocean. I could see, like, wherever it's this guy. Below it was just sand. As far as I could see, I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something. And I came up over this. What do you call a hill made of sand? A dude. Yeah, a dude. And there was God, sitting there, up on another hill. Or dude, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. They were kind of a jerk. I mean, more of a straight up asshole. Sorry, can I say that at church? <laughs> I think this structure can handle the shock. They went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions. It annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that... The thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about it. How nothing matters. This giant hole. In the center of everything. Growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. No. I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home. But... There's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, it's just been a long time. I've been there. Oh no, May has depression. Start it. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where we open ourselves up. God can enter our lives more efficiently. I guess. Ooh. Uh, do I say I don't believe in God? Do I become an atheist, basically? Or... I guess... This one just sounds like I'm just reluctantly agreeing. But this one sounds like this is... I'm only choosing this answer. Because I think that's the truth. And she seems pretty straightforward about it. If you want the truth... I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes today. Hmm. Faith is progress. Yet to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is, something, is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But... But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more important my job my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe. It's something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week. It gives some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. You can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? Hey, you're being too harsh. Stop it. I have to go. Okay. 
bear, you little shit. <laughs> Why would you do that? She's not a parent. We can't have that kind of fight with her like her mom. But hey, at least I revealed some stuff by choosing that answer, so... I think I helped. <laughs> And I know that tomorrow we're gonna say I'm sorry, Pastor. I don't think Pastor Karen has to apologize. She did nothing wrong. Well, I mean, apparently she's lying, but hey. Let's just say let's let's say hi to B. We're doing her last. We're doing, uh, Greg today. Hey, Bee! Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stop. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. <sighs> what are you up to today? What are you around town? Whatever you want to do. Go into the graveyard, are we? <laughs> okay, I quickly restarted. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oh. What are you up to today? Why do you run town? Have fun. Okay. So we're gonna go talk to Greg. And then we're gonna do our light smashing thing, which I'm terrible at, but I do. Don't really know how to dodge those cans. Let's talk to Angus real quick, I guess. Alright, Angus Beef. Hey, babe. Hey, dude! Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay? Sorry, don't mind me. I like the soundtrack to this game. The possibilities are endless. What's this? Are you going to see Greg? We're gonna have the shock ourselves. Wait, but then why did we? Why? Oh. Okay, let's do that. How do I know this is the right time and place to do this? Because, according to May, we and May in the play. The player in May. Ooh. We don't know. Where are we? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Like some secret hidden way. Why am I only just doing this now? Like, why is that door open just now? I guess. So I say to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table. Nearly broke that damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really did it. 
<gasps> the boxes are gone. I can go up there. Damn it. I was wrong. I'll just have to try again another time. Yo, yo, yo. Sup, duder. Hey. Hey, you hold it up. Surviving. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some spooky boobs. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring god? I could throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. So what's up? Just checking in. You wanna hang out? Oh, the heavy day. Got some date night stuff with Angus. It's cool. I might hit a B. Hit her in the F up. Ooh, you just something? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we are inevitably going with me. Okay. Kind of messes up my plan, but whatever. Actually doing stuff today. Whatever you want to do. Dun dun dun. So, what kind of party is this? Uh, a Jackie party. What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Anyway, this is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit! They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie's parties are worth the trip. Doo -doo -doo. What will happen? The world may never do. I think I went here once. And Girl Scouts. Does he the Does he stop our sort of the longest night play? Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah. They were kinda stuck together back then. Why'd you why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. I was, I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, and, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into the traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Ha <laughs> ha! Burn. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, 
It'll be a lot of fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, A. Eh? Of course there is dancing. Cool. Okay. She's the person that saw me puke on myself and drunk at that one party. <laughs> yeah, she kind of hated me. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Ooh, fancy. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fast could sit at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you really think that's the best? Uh, yeah. Harry and I have learned how to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor without this shit. Mace works too. Mace against faces. Haha. <laughs> hey! Hey, this is Bay. Hey, Bay. Yep, that's Bay. So where are you guys? So where are you guys from? To Bird Bright Harbor. Couple of bored and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. B just keeps looking at me. Hold up, we're gonna yell at the DJ real quick. We know him. He's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys! They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking day. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Apparently those guys can. They got the moves down. I wouldn't really call this dancing. You're just moving your legs up and down. Maybe Jackie's dancing. I'm not really. I just close my eyes and bouncing. He's doing some wavy stuff, but I mean, yeah, I guess that's dancing. <gasps> I can- Oh, that's cool! No, it wasn't the dancing yet! Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we talk to them? Well, yeah, we should! I can dance, I never knew! I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party this before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away with eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything if someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any. B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so with different arrow keys, I can do different stuff, so... Using the right arrow key, I can do this. Using the left one, I can bounce. I'm putting my hands up in the air like I just don't care. It's the top button. Well, this is fun. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Oh, am I done dancing? You know, I just had a thought. What if those ghost guys show up here? I mean, it is part of our story, and it would make sense if they showed up with me and Angus. Or maybe they won't, or maybe this is just completely. Re re irrelevant to the story, and it's just like a filler. I don't know. Hey, you! Hey, you! Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski. Samantha Stevenson. Ooh. 
Grasky. Nice. Sounds so tough. I am extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, Vaborowski? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. I have a college dropout, a ghost has chased me, and I recently met God. I have these dreams where I'm not sure if they were dreams. Where I was running around, jumbling bits of like history or something. Like it was a hairball stuck in a shower frame. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely believe by it, but I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college because I don't ever want to get into that. And all I want to do is come home for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance that I saw you. I never just listened all that out but at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. Oh, okay. That's the devil's about to grab. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Rosky. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Okay. Need to go tell. Right. Location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. I'll be right back. Whew. Oh. Oh, hey, Mae. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, uh, she's okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You're laughing a lot. Ha, 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 ha. B, ah, uh, Chris. It's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Ha, ha. Well, a book you liked. I like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader, and then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me before he got dementia and died. Ha ha ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead. May, shut the fuck up, okay? You're making this so work. No, you don't say that! You don't say that, you crazy psychopath! I should have chosen the other answer. I'm so sorry, B. I'm so sorry. I mean it. I mean it. Ha 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 ha. May. May stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak. I want my dad to the alarm. Trying to dig up the dog we had before because we were going to move. And dad said he was going to he had to come with us. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Hello, Sky. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs at that? No, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like it has to be pretty materialistic. To go to college just so he can get a job after. That's interesting because. Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out rich kid over here. What, well, man? You don't want to admit that you're a college dropout? You just told the other guy your entire life story. You can't tell these guys with your friend that you're a college dropout. Wow. Gotta, gotta pay billions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I am from to my uncle's firm. Yes. Well, I back groceries. Okay. Ha ha ha, May, do you want to dance some more? Sure. 
Sure. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their biz own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. And it's a small business. You speak their language. Get us free slices. Take that back out of your mouth, they... B doesn't like spoiled rich kids. Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Say this one. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest door in possible strings. Ha ha ha, Bay. No. Well, rich kid over there is studying politicians or whatever. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. Me. What? Ha 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 ha. Me, just shut up and leave. <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. Me and I basically run possum strings. A skip. Except there's like a ghost or something. You do live in Possum Springs? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow Country? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick! B here drove from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I <laughs> B, wait! Me, go after her! What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Go! You asshole, you say sorry! Say sorry now. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. All right, I'm going up to the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back. Oh, okay, God. Back at school, I always told B you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. It's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs? I can get to the river quick by the roofs. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No! I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. Yo, cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. You don't get away from your damn car. I'm gonna run over it with your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. Last person I heard? Physically, I hurt them very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to. You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Please, I've been doing this since day one. That's scary. Yeah, let's go with the boxes. There we go. Ooh, this is some intense music. Or like some sorry music. I'm sorry, B! Come back to me! Wait, before I go there, I want to see what's in this room. If I can even enter. 
<laughs> okay, nope, I can't. <gasps> this sounds like one of our band songs! I forget which one. Weird Autumn! I think it's Die Anywhere Else. Oh, I like this. It's a nice song. Come on, May, you gotta say you're sorry. Come on, me, go faster. I can't pass the pole. Okay. I think it is die anywhere else. No. There you go. Come on, B. No, come on, May. B, please don't be far. Are you alright? Why did you run? That was like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town and you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? say it could have been bugged, because I think the other one's just going to dig me down deeper rabbit hole. All over some idiot guy? College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Ha ha ha. This is so freaking sad. I feel like obsessively, I think obsessively about going to college. But like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're over already. This is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life! Agree. God damn it, right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to go... I had to take over the business because my dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. God. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now and we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about night, like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick, epic skull. That's so fair. That's not fair, or I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in a stupid hardware store in the 
stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up on the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't... I can't not hate you for that. A little. I don't know anything about it. I don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yes, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, well, that's eliminating. Oh, shut up! All this shit going on this past week. Ghosts and shit. I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about... Like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. Ha ha ha. Oh god. What river is this? Red Winder. All oh, the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just, what's the word? Verboxity. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away to the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximate counts for right now. <sighs> Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life Beatrice. Thanks. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. Come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy. You're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good. Thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I'm more embarrassing than you could, will ever be. You're, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. Crap, I didn't get her info. Ooh. This super cute girl I met at, her at the party? We did some secret handshake? Is that a emphuism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Wait, so I'm not getting her number, or what? Darn it! Hey, Dad. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Ooh, serious talk time. Okay. So, what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kid. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where's... Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. 
And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where is it all going? What is even my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is in their way somewhere else. And I had this big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, 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 shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Yay! I get to actually try voicing these characters this time. Bloy! Garbo! Everything about, you know, the afterlife. I don't have life as it is! What, Garbo? You think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. Ha 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 ha. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church goer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I went to church, they haven't invented religion yet. You are making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. You can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be. Uh, what the? Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Good night. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks that this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different. It's huge and spooky, making weird noises that night. Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. The piece of granddad. We need more of those. Okay. Who texted what? Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from today. I bet. You, did you run all all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roof and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really, really nice way that you did that. Oh, uh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I'd never go away. You'll never get rid of me. I can't. I can, I think I can, I can think of worse fates. Aw. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Dance at a party. Ran, all, ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. Need to do more parties. You are very right. All right, I'm off to bed. Laters. <laughs> Am I gonna have a dream tonight? Of course I'm gonna have a dream tonight. Okay, bedtime. Honestly, I'll be surprised if I don't.
that sounds like dream music, so I think we are. What? What? No dream? Seriously? That's weird. Well, okay then. <laughs> I guess that's it for this. Just wow. Just wow. This was a crazy hectic night. I mean, I guess I was ready this a failure. At least there was no ghost this time. Or if there was, I didn't notice it, and it, and it wasn't an issue. Anyway, guys, it's a crazy episode, but thank you for watching this video, and I will see you again. Bye!